56% of American consumers said that they live paycheck to paycheck. Living without an emergency fund, spending everything you earn and don't have financial education are the best steps you can give to poverty. Without budgeting what you earn, you can't be financially disciplined. And worst, you will be sacrificing your future financially speaking. So today I'm going to share some budgeting examples, some tips for you to adapt your circumstances and some apps that will help you to control your spending. And for those who stay until the end, I'm going to share with you three books about money that could change your financial reality. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate the bell for you to receive every notification of my videos. Every Thursday you'll have a new video and every day you'll have amazing content on my Instagram. You'll have the link in the description. Most people nowadays spend money without a plan. And with easy access to shopping online, most people are buying things just because they want it, not because they need them. With that said, I'm going to share with you some budgeting examples for you to see which one is the best for you. Well, the first one I'm going to show you, it's from a book called All Your Worth and it's called the 50-20-30 rule. What this rule tells us is that 50% of your income should be used on your needs. You should use 30% of your income on whatever you want and 20% on savings and investments. It's a really basic plan and easy to follow but it's good to start in my opinion. If this is the first time you're going to budget your income this is probably the best one for you. You have the 70-20-10 rule which is another good system for budgeting. This rule basically tells us that 70% of your income is to spend on your expenses and your free time. You would save and invest 20% and you would donate 10%. These are just two examples for you to make your budget. But of course that you can adapt as long as you stay focused and you can follow the plan you've made. If you have debt for example you can't follow these budgets and in my personal opinion you should first of all get rid of all your debt. But even if your financial situation is different you should always budget your income because if you don't you may end up wasting a lot of money. So for those who can't follow these budgets that I've shown to you I'm going to give you some tips for you to make your budget. Before sharing them I want to be clear that I'm not advising anybody financially. This video is about my research and personal experience with this subject. So the first tip I want to share with you is to be organized. When I say this I mean by keeping your receipts and expenses organized. Use money management apps, here are some examples. Money manager and expenses tracker, money manager budget planner or you could use mind for example. The second tip is to prioritize your debt payment. This step will probably save you a lot of money. I know it's weird to hear but the fact is that interest is really expensive. So the quicker you pay your debt the less you will pay. And making a budget for your finances doesn't mean you shouldn't have fun at all. So this next step is don't forget to have some fun. You can't live your life being financially undisciplined but you can't live your life without having fun too. Make sure you spend some of your monthly income on things you like to. Like going out with your friends, buying a new video game, whatever it is. Because that's not sustainable or healthy in the long term. Enjoy the process. This next step is so important but people most of the time forget about it. Build an emergency fund. Those unexpected problems that appear in your life are not that unexpected. If you get fired, if you get a divorce, if your car needs to be fixed or if your parents need some help, wouldn't it be cool for you to have an emergency fund? Money that you could pick up any time for those kinds of unexpected but at the same time expected problems. The suggestion that I would personally give you because it's what I do myself is for you to put together money that keeps you safe for like 6 to 12 months. This means that you should take all of your basic needs monthly and multiply them by a number between 6 and 12. And that's the money you should have on your emergency fund. And my last tip when you're doing your budget is for you to make sure you differentiate between your wants and needs. Needs are things you can't live without. Things like paying your mortgage, your groceries, anything that you need to keep living a healthy life. Your wants are things that you could live a healthy life and you want to buy these things just because you want to spend money. And no, I'm not saying for you to ignore them. But if you want to think so much, make sure you pay 
it with the money you will use for yourself, money to have fun. There's nothing wrong with buying wands, but don't exaggerate, please. Well, we're getting at the end of the video. And for those who stayed with me until now, I'm going to share with you three books about money that could help you with your financial life. The first one, and I love this one, it's from a man called Dave Ramsey, and it's called The Total Money Makeover. This book is a bestseller and teaches a lot about planning, debt payments, your retirement and a lot of other things that will transform your financial life. The second book I want to share with you is called The Broke Millennial. This book is from a personal finances expert called Erin Lowry. If you're looking for a book to start from zero in the financial world to help you manage your money and you don't know where to start, this is probably the best one for you. It helps you to deal with student loans or other types of debt and it helps you to plan your future. And the last book I want to share with you today is one of the most important books in my financial life. It's called Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. In this book Tony helps you to deal with your money, investments and has a lot of interviews with financial sharks. You'll see names in that book like Ray Dalio, John Bogle and a lot more sharks of the financial world. One of the best books about money that I've ever read. Of course there are a lot more books about money, investments and personal finances but these were the books that influenced me the most to manage my money and to be successful doing it. Well and for now I finished my video here, I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you to manage your money. This was Successology here, you'll never be average again. Peace.